Today is an absolutely fantastic day and no better day to go fishing. I'm always dreaming when I'm at work <laughs> to come out in days like today, so we took the day off. And uh, we're with a very good friend of the show, Diego from Black Magic. We're gonna go out and we're gonna try a few of the brand new rigs that Black Magic have just bought out on the market and we're quite excited to have a try. So we're just gonna go out and try and catch some fresh bait. We haven't launched with any bait on board whatsoever. So if we don't catch some fresh bait to start off with, we'll be going home early. Um, I've got some 12 pound of new deception fluoro. So guys, there's a new uh, leader that Black Magic have bought out. It's called Deception. It's pink. Now they say the first colour to disappear underwater is red, pink, and those sorts of colours. And I can tell you what, Black Magic are known for making very good products and good product testing. Now, as a Western Port fisho, this was music to my ears because of the colour. It is a little bit murky out here sometimes and this is an absolutely fantastic you can't really see the pink in it but we're going to hold that one up that's a 60 pound you can see the pink in that if you're a gummy fish show that 60 pound leader is going to really help you out anyway, i'm not fishing for gummies yet we're just fishing for some bait so diego there's some leader for you mate i've actually already got some on so i'm just going to tie oh and you get a hair tie too for the kids <laughs> going to tie a jig on which I should already have here. Now what colour do you want Diego? Let me guess. Black red? Well, I reckon because the water's a bit murky I'd, I'd go that, that white. You want the white glow? Yeah the white glow. I That's my favourite mate. Yeah I think it's the colour of the water. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll I'll, I'm going to go the white glow as well because that's the colour. I just thought you'd go black red. I'm going to throw a black red over as a static, a static bait. We always uh, throw a static bait over the side and um, nine times out of ten that's the first one to go so I'll put that one aside. Love that noise and the reel going. Makes you think you got a bite. Now it's it's a little bit nerve-wracking when you launch with no bait because <laughs> if you don't catch any squid, <laughs> you're not going fishing. I'm pretty confident. I know the area pretty well. I rarely ever miss out here for squid all year round. That's the beautiful thing about squid fishing. They are an all-year-round species. Just some of the months of the year, they get a little bit bigger, which are around March and April. I found. When the big breeders come in, even into May. So while we're rigging up, I've just noticed the way the boat's drifting. That's always crucial. The tide's going out, you want to get into shallow and drift out deep. The tide's going in, you want to get in deep and drift out, drift into shallow. So the black red, hey? The black red squid snatcher, Diego. As you know, it's caught us a lot of squid. Well, how did they go at Queenscliff, mate? <laughs> Wasn't that insane? Yeah. If any of you viewers out there haven't uh, got on YouTube and had a look at our video or seen it on 31 or Foxtel of us fishing in Queensland, in Queensland, in Queenscliff, in Victoria, land-based, have a watch. That was an absolutely fantastic day. All right. Off you go. Static bait. You don't want to uh, have it too deep. You want to have the drag set about halfway down. We've got the weed beds all around us, mate. So we've got around about two meters of water. We'll drift out to about three to six. Beautiful, mate. What well, was that, your third cast? We've got bait. <laughs> We've got bait. Yeah, it's about the third cast. You're right on the money. <laughs> 
Squiddy. And he liked me too, you see that? <laughs> There we go, look at this little Golger. Come in all sides. Very ambitious, these little guys. And um, I must admit, because we've got no bait, Diego. Yeah, throw it over to Diego there. He's, uh, he's a nice bite-sized snack for something out there, mate. Not for you, <laughs> for the fish. <laughs> right. Good king, kingfish bait, eh? Yeah, it'd be a perfect kingy bait. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it just keeps from the bottom, you can cast it out. And just let it sit the there, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, I like them at the back of the boat. Oh, no, the back of the boat works too. The only reason I do that is because if we bring one to the boat yeah, and we don't see it and we flick out. True. True. Oh, no, I'm on. Oh, geez, this one's all right. This one's definitely got some kick in it. The trick is when you do actually hit a squid, normally they'll rise straight to the surface. You've got to keep that tension on. Even if they're fighting back, let them give. Don't scout, don't scold Greg him. There we go, Diego's on. And here comes another. That's not bad, two shots in a row. Yeah, this one's, this one's a good size, mate. This one's very good. Oh, we'll had to crack a bit. Yes. I'm gonna try and, um, like I said, you gotta try and keep the tension on them. So. He's only just pegged too. You can get him alongside the boat here without trying to squirt you. Ah, yeah, that's the one we wanted. Have a look at that. Nice. Just dripping all over my seat. He's a good squid. Very good squid. Well, we've got plenty of bait, boys. But you know what? I love these things so much. I'm gonna stay around a little bit longer and try and get a few more. Well, like I always say, it's always a, a big debate, Diego, whether we're gonna take it home to eat or use it for bait. <laughs> Obviously today we're definitely using them for bait, but um, they just go so well on the table. Certainly do. Great looking critter. Can't wait to change its colors. Beautiful. He's engulfed it. <laughs> He's a good one, mate. <laughs> Look at him come up. That is a cracker, buddy. Yeah, he's come right up to follow the jig all the way in. He's just opened up his tentacles and... Oh, nice one, Diego. Oh, he's got a good kilo on him, mate. Yeah, you're right with that. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho, ho! Nice one, mate. Yeah, he's just come right up under the boat and wanted it. So you picked a good spot there, Mick. Yeah, I love it out here, mate. Yeah. Some days they just go nuts, and this well, we is. Might have a little bit for dinner as well. Yeah, I think we will, mate. <laughs> I think we'll keep flicking. <laughs> nice hit, Nico. Yeah, he hit it pretty hard, and it looks like he did hit it pretty hard. hard. Yeah, it's a good size one, mate. Diego, you might have to get in there and give him a hand. I will do that. Hey, Ron, this is one of my workers, Nixon. Yeah. He's been on a few trips this season. Didn't like the look of me. Yeah. It's a very nice squid. You tried the little two and it worked for you. Yeah. Hit it almost as it dropped into the water. Diego, can you take my rod? You gotta get a hit on it. I've got a squid on it, I think. He was on it. 
Yeah. Just looking to go. Or Diego tries to rejig that squid. Yeah, that's a nice squid. <laughs> oh, mate. Put, put him out of his misery. Put him out of his misery, put him in the ice. So I'm getting right on the three metre line today. Sometimes uh, we get him in two, sometimes four, but today he seems to be right on this. If you see behind me, you'll see where it's sort of glassed out there like a current line, and that's where they've sort of been sitting. This one's not overly huge, but he's a nice little squid. Um, we're only going to come out here for about an hour. Well, I reckon we've been out here for two because the squid have been going that well. And they say, make hay while the sun shines, and today the sun is shining. For our cephalopod friends. Oh, nearly got me. That's the pink. I lost my white one before, snagged it up and lost it. So I've put the, the white pink pattern. And that one's been, already had two hits on it. There's a nice little guy here. <laughs> Filling the boat up with water. Water's okay, it's the ink that's not. My fine slimy friend. Beautiful. All right, this is the way we, um, we put them out. You've probably seen me do this many times before. One on the head, goes white. One on the tube, tube goes white. And that's how we put them out humanely. In a bag on ice. Keep them nice and fresh. Where's that rag? Wash the slime off my hands. And get the jig back out there. So size three jig, three meters, cancel about ten, then flick flick, and I'm on again. And I just got to hook up, <laughs> flick flick. Well, he, that works. <laughs> and that works really well. Do you like that, Diego? <laughs> There's a uh, demonstration on how to catch squid, guys. <laughs> That's what you want. Grab around behind the head. They might look a bit placid, but I can tell you right now, they've got a little beak in there like a bird in their gob. And if that beak gets a hold of you, it'll take a nice little chunk out of your finger. <laughs> Wash, rinse, repeat. There's the old static bait at the back, eh? I watched him come up twice for it. He's alright too. Sounds like a nice little size one. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about sight fishing for these guys. Watching them come up like a little, little missile at your, at your squid jig. And that's on the black reg, Diego. Yep. I reckon I can lift him in. I don't want to... Yeah, well, yeah, there we go. There you go. Let's point him in there towards the well. He's a fat one. Hey, a bit like the guy I caught him. <laughs> he has been grazing well. Hey, you and me are very similar, buddy. Yep, we are. Guys, I'm pretty excited to show you this. This is a new product from Black Magic. Actually, it's a couple of new products, Diego. We've got, um, well, the new hook, the KLTs. Very similar to the KLs. Correct. Hence the KL bit in the KLT. Correct. Now, the KLs, fantastic gummy hook for Western Port, where we are now. That's a KL hook, a circle hook. KLT is this one, the new one. Now, in line, no offset, mate. Correct. So when we put a bait in the water, there's no more spinning. No spinning in the current. The bait looks very natural. And they're a bit of a hybrid with the DX hook, and they've got the beautiful, nice, very slippery, shiny coating on them. Very similar to what you'd find in your frying pans, folks. Um, for just a faster penetration into the jaw hookup of the fish. Correct, and also it's, it's great for rust resistance. Yes, well, saltwater corrodes everything, doesn't it, mate? Exactly right. 
So that's um, that's the KLTs. Now they come in sizes from all the way up to 80. Right, from 1 0 through all the way up to 8 0. There is a 10 0. It's just about hit the market very Ooh, shortly. So, really? yes, that's news. Oh, yeah, I didn't know just, that. Just, just got that the other day. Looking forward to that. Now, these hooks are on these new rigs that you guys have just released the Snapper Snack. Now, you all would have heard of the Snapper Snatcher. This is like a bit of a beefy upgrade, mate, isn't it? Correct. Um, well, we, we all know with the Snapper Snatchers, you've got a flasher rig tied onto the, uh, onto the rig itself. These have got that squid style. Uh, skirted type squid style lure. Made of rubber. Made of rubber. And, and it's actually a quite a good quality rubber. So it's even when you get little pickies and so forth, they're not going to... Well, Black Magic's known for quality and um, all their product testing to make sure that their products go out. There's a lot of cheap imitations out there, mate, but why would you go out in your boat and spend all the money on fuel, bait, rods, reels, and then put a cheap rig on your, on your rod? You wouldn't well, do it, would you? That's exactly well, that's what keeps you connected to the fish. That's exactly right, mate. There's nothing worse than watching it snap off on the side of the boat. So. That's these. Now I've noticed with these rigs, mate, the um, flasher on the snapper snatchers is affixed to the hook, but these are a running style. And they run up to the knot and then they run back down. So when they're in the water, they jig up and down similar to a squid. Exactly, and that's what attracts a fish. The fish will see that, they'll attract the fish to the actual rig and they can't resist the bait. And funnily enough, when we were squid fishing earlier, we had some of these over the side and two squid actually came up to these looking at them. And so did the pike we saw sort of swimming around. So that's them. Um, now these are a 3.0 hook and a 5.0 hook. There's two sizes. Yes. So obviously for your smaller species, pinkies and smaller snapper, and then you've got your larger species like your gummy shark and snapper. Now obviously they're snapper snacks, but these don't just catch snapper, mate. These catch all sorts of fish. Well, you probably know obviously the size of the King George whiting in, in Flinders Island. Around Tasmania, yeah. yeah exactly the, the whiting right. are huge and these 3.0s absolutely nailed them. They smashed them. Yeah. So we're, we're not in snapper season at the moment, so there's not many snapper around, so we're not even going for them. We're just trying to get a feed and just see what takes them today, aren't we, mate? That's right. So that's them, the new snapper snack from Black Magic. Bit of war paint. Ready for the battle. Got to keep that sun, that, uh, sun off your skin, mate. You certainly do. Basically, these are really good for squid strips or squid ring, but you just pin it through the top. Okay, so they come up and they just nail the whole thing. So it sort of blends in with the, the action of the rubbery jig. Right, now we're set. And he is tiny, normally we get him a lot bigger. guy. Off you go buddy. Straight to the bottom. Whiting. That's what we want. Oh. <laughs> hey the black magic set whiting snatcher has done it again. <laughs> hey, elbow slapper. Well he's almost he almost hits the elbow. That's a great size whiting. We're starting to get a bit of a feed now. We've got some whiting, we've got some squid. That's what we want, Diego. Oh, we need some chips. Just <laughs> need some chips and some seagulls, I reckon. <laughs> well, the bigger species aren't coming out to play. But the tasty ones are. One of my faves. All on fresh squid, no pippies, just fresh squid, cut into little slithers, little tiny slithers. And they're still taking it, mate. Okay, so everyone says you only need pippies for whiting. Squid's a lot cheaper. Well, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. On the snapper snack. Oh, quick, get that one in. <laughs> That definitely look like the gummy wobble to me, but yeah, it's on that one. This is a good fish. Just got to let it do its thing. If it is a gummy, which I'm not sure, but it's 
got some telltale signs, it will come back to the boat. I'm calling it a gun. Zenair, it's definitely got those bangs. Um, yeah, once they give up the ghost, they come back. So people, a lot of people freak out, they tighten the drag up too tight and you'll lose the fish. So you just gotta let it run. Let it do its thing. It does not want to give up, I can tell you. Oh, I just busted off. Oh. I only had 30 pound mono on. Normally I'll use 60 out here. I thought I'll just I'll fish light. What a mistake that was. Here we go again. That's another one. That's another one. Oh yeah, I can feel the head bangs. That's another one. <laughs> I'm not going to lose it this time. I'm going to try not to lose it this time. <laughs> Quick, Diego, get those rods in. <laughs> this one is not as big as the last one. But that's a gummy. I'm pretty sure that's a gummy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to come over here, Diego. Just watch your rods, watch your rods. We have rods everywhere. Not a good bandage of a small boat. We'll have to get you to move those rods out of the way, mate. If we could. See those bangs? That's a gummy. I love this. We've fished pretty hard today. It's been hard fishing. We had a nice big gummy hook up before and blew it because I decided to be lazy and not change my 30 pound leader for 60, which I should have. But now we just got the, the weight of the rig on, mate. And those rigs are 80 pound, aren't they? Right. 80 pound shock leader, black magic. So, you know, I know I'm getting good company here. And this is on the Snapper Snack, the Lubo 5 0 hook with the KLT. Um, this has got a bit of go to it, mate. So we're going to have to bring the gummy up the side of the boat here. That, if it is a gummy, which I'm pretty sure it is. You never know until it comes up, do you, mate? Okay. You can just go by educated guessing, I guess. And that's my educated guess. You might be able to grab that, mate. I'll just grab her by the leader. She's well and truly hooked in two spots. Uh, that fought a lot harder than what I thought it would have. Just grab by the leader, mate. Hey, 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 hey. Beautiful. Have a look at that. Corner of its mouth. Uh, let me just, um, I'll just cut this line off. Because we'll end up having hooks everywhere, which is what we don't want. Right, right in the corner, mate. That's great. That's fantastic. We'll get that sinker off too. Because I can see that causing some mischief. That's the Super Lumo, the one we were discussing earlier. That's the, um, yeah, that's the 5A, mate, with the KLT hooks. Mate, fantastic. That's two gummies we got Inverted. within an hour, and the first one only broke because I put too light a leader on. And there was a cracker one too, so they, well done, Nick. That is beautiful. Cool. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That's probably about four kilos. Camera doesn't do it much justice. Three and a half, four kilos. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that, mate. Hey? Well done, Mickey. Black Magic Snapper Snacks. They don't, they don't only work, they hook the fish twice. Ha ha ha!